Okay, start now. Take out the paper pieces. Don't talk. Don't point. Don't take. But make the perfect paper. Không được nói, không được chỉ. Không được. Đã cho đi rồi là không có được chuyển lại nha. Six pieces, yeah, okay. Six pieces. 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 Cái, 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 cái không cần chứ. Cái không cần chứ. Giving and taking, they are two equal parts of communication. But giving is difficult, taking is easy. Right? If I would have said, don't talk, but take, I'm sure you will do it. But I said, don't take, only give. Giving is difficult, taking is easy. Right? That's why it is an important point. The third one, of course, I also stopped the gestures. Again, something again I have stopped. So communication is very, very important. So whether the communication you refer to the historical, communication you refer to your future volume ambition, communication you refer to your sales policy, or communication about delivery schedules, whether come product coming from postcard, product going to the plant, no, or to the site, or the production, or if there is a breakdown in the machine, if Mr. Tom don't inform, then salespeople commit to customer, but the plant is under breakdown. So likewise, communication is very important in various aspects. So this is a small session on communication. So first one. Like in the game, I said you can't speak, then it's a breakdown. So what's important in learning from it? You need to express. You should speak. Okay? Communication is all about 
feeling the comfort and being able to express right, wrong, to express whatever you feel. So communication is able to express only when you communicate. We have a saying, if a hungry kid doesn't go to mom and says, mom, I'm hungry, he will not get the food in time because you need to tell when if you are hungry, you need to tell you are hungry. Okay? Not every time people will notice what's happening. So communication, expression is very important. And communication is not just what we say, it's also what we listen, right? It's not just always about telling, it's also about listening. And it's also what we understand, right? So you saw in the game, in the beginning, two, three times Miss Wynn had to tell this is the rule. Means some people haven't completely understood. So they were trying to break the rule. So you have to understand. It's speaking, it's listening, it is understanding. And close understanding makes communication more effective. How many of you have seen on the piece of paper there were numbers written? Please raise the hands if you have honestly seen the numbers written, at least from the seven people. The seven players. One, two. See, only two players have lifted their hand, not everybody has seen. So that is what I mean, you are willing to take also when they give. So if somebody is pushing the paper, somebody should also take it. Okay, how do I fix it? So it's also willingness to take. Okay. The next one for me is probably the most important one. Why this is important? This also links to the teamwork. So the seven people doing there is actually a teamwork. Only when all the seven people work together, you can make these pieces of paper. It will be interesting, I think the video was taken. If you go and watch the video, I don't know the names and I don't want to name also. Some of the seven players, as a first step, quickly take and start arranging their own pieces. But my instruction was very clear, all the pieces were mixed. So people were trying to make, how can I make a full paper with my pieces? So if I put same paper pieces, even a three-year kid can do that, right? It's all mixed. So what does this mean? It is self-centered. So if you just look at only your papers, you don't look at others, you will not be able to give. So it is also, it's about what the other team members can contribute. Okay? So that is very, very important. So you cannot be self-centered. And why for me this is important also is, I see a lot of potential for Yara Vietnam to move in a positive direction. And we have gone through a tough journey and an excellent team is in place. And at this point I would like to mention that day before yesterday, I spent almost full day with Mehdi and his core management team. I have listened to presentations by Thomas, by Turk, by Neon, by Tan, by Ms. Wing, and Ms. Tan, and, and everybody presented. And I see lots of energy, lots of good ideas, lots of good thoughts. How to improve Yara Vietnam's business. And you saw the ambition levels. And they all believe. And I'm happy that Thomas feels this ambition level is very low. He thinks Mr. Rao 85,000 is very low. He wants to double that. He wants to make 200,000. So, that is the enthusiasm and energy you have in the new team. So it is all the more important that this team, if they don't fall into this trap, as well as this team of seven people, try to respect the strengths and weaknesses of the other team members, align them together, it can become a strong force. And this group of seven, eight people, who are the line managers for the rest of the team here, same example, if I would have put only three people on the table, three papers, it would be much easier than seven people. If I put 20 papers and 20 people, it will take two days to complete because 20 people think 20 different ways. So once the size becomes bigger, it will become even complex. So it is all the more important that how you handle the complexity in the communication. Same with distributor. Easy to handle 10 distributors. When you have 50, 
when you have 100, when you have 200, different. So complexity increases. And when the business grows, that will also grow. But that is natural part of the business. Okay? Only solution, we have to communicate well. And once you have a better communication, complex things become simple, like juggling the balls. I don't think all of us can juggle four balls or six balls, but an expert like him, he juggles. What is the communication happening? It's the communication between the hand and the mind. Once this hand and mind communication improves, he masters it, then he can do the juggling of the balls. So that's simple. So it has to be practiced. And with better communication, you can find solutions. Look at that. Four different people, there is one problem. Each one brings in a different perspective. They communicate. Somewhere the solution will come. That's very, very important. And once you have better communication, your targets become very clear and you start believing in them, they become dearer to you because yes, I believe in it, I want to achieve it, I want to deliver the results. And then everything is smooth after that. And communication brings all together. That's all is about this. What is all this program today and tomorrow? It's all about communicating. Even you have an activity in the evening, you have to communicate in the activity. You can imagine if one team communicates well, the other team, after they're getting the task, each of the team member goes in a different direction and the second team will never win. So, it also brings people together. And communication, again, don't narrow down to Yara Mila, Yara Lipa. We talk so much about it. You can build your relationship by communicating your sports activities, your likings in films, your personal issues to the extent you feel comfortable. So it can be all wrong. So communication brings people together and it gives us a win-win situation. Okay. Sales were 100,000 words spoken. That's it. Sales were 100,000 words listened. So the more we listen to our farmers, the more we listen to our distributors, our business. None of the other balls will go into the hole unless you start hitting it. Unless the cue ball starts going and hitting the other balls. So only when the cue ball starts moving, it will make the other balls on the billiard or snooker table to move. So it is all about action. Why I bring up this slide is, again coming back to day before yesterday, fantastic presentations by the management team. Good vision, good ambitions. Now as rightly Mary has mentioned, we have done a lot of brainstorming, lot of strategy setting, lot of direction setting. It's now time to act and deliver. So by creating fantastic strategy, fantastic marketing plan, yes, we have set a direction like this one. Yes, that red ball has a direction. It has to go in the direction, hit the other balls so that they go into the billiard or snooker table hole, but it will happen only when the red ball starts moving. So I think it's a simple message that always the leadership is about action, not just is about what you are. Okay? That's competence. It just needs to the drive and put the actions in place. So that will happen only when you think big, whether you are successful or whether you have a small dip. Still you need to think big. And your life will change when you put more energy in your dreams than in your fears. So, what happened it might scare you, but what you want to achieve is your dream. So you put more efforts into what you want to achieve, I think you will think big and you will move forward and you will deliver better results for Yara Vietnam. So how to think big? Think big like the guy in the picture. Even if you can't really do it, but think like this. So, the guy you know is Thomas. Have you realized? You can't sell 10,000 tons of Yara Mila. You can leave Yara, go to, let's say, Bokonko, and sell 30,000 tons. Then you say, okay, I have achieved a lot. Because you did 
a different thing. Selling Yara Mila, not Yara Mila. But winners don't do that. They will still try to sell Yara Mila. But how they sell is what they change. So the message is they don't do different things, but they do things differently. So if you feel you are struggling to sell Yara Mila, don't leave it, jump and do something different. It's like if you don't sell television, then you go and sell uh, rice. Then you are selling completely different product, right? Because selling rice is easy. Look, everybody wants rice. But selling iPhone, that's uh, televisions, not everybody wants to buy because if I want to buy television, I don't buy every day a television. But I buy rice every day, right? So it is not what. How you sell it? So look at this picture. See the first cat. So they all were crossing that water. There is no difference. The three people behind, they were only taking protection from the rain, walking through the water. What happens if the water rises? They will get drowned. So they are not doing anything different. Their aim is to cross. They are, the four guys are not doing anything different. All four of them want to cross the water. They are doing the same thing. But how they are doing is different. So, when you conduct yourself in the market, please think creatively, think how you can do things differently and then you will become the winners, okay? So, we want to see you, the whole group, as the winners. We want you to be the winning team for Yara Vietnam in the years to come. That is why these sessions are organized, to bring back the spirit, to bring back the motivation. So I will stop here, wish you all the good luck and enjoy today and enjoy tomorrow. I will not be there for the entire time, I will be there today with you. But tomorrow morning I am flying back to Singapore so that the core Yara Vietnam team without an alien from Singapore can have your team bonding on Saturday. Yeah, that's what I said, this program is to make you those winners, okay? So it's all not about letting you down for what happened, that's all gone. It's more about showing the faith in you, confidence in you, belief in you that you can make it happen. This is the team that can make Yara Vietnam proud in next two, three years, okay? So, enjoy. Wish you all success to you.